Have you ever heard of the compound effect? Albert Einstein states that compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it earns it, and he who doesn't understand it pays it. We pay it in the form of loans and bills and credit cards and debt. But if you earn it and you continue to sow into that, you will eventually have a massive war chest at your fingertips. Matthew 13, 12 states this, whoever has will be given more and they will have in abundance. But it also goes on to say this, whoever does not have, even that which they have will be taken from them. I heard Jordan Peterson recently state, compound effect kind of works like this. If you fail or as you fail, you, were, you will continue to fail more rapidly if something doesn't stop you. But as you succeed and you taste success, you will continue to succeed more rapidly. It's like taking a step as a runner. That first couple steps kind of gets the engine going, but then as you continue to trot and you continue to take those steps, you're eventually going to pick up the pace and you're eventually going to get into your groove. And, and runners know this. I'm definitely not a runner, guys, but runners know this, that you get into this, this cadence of steps and your breathing becomes a pattern and your arms swaying at a certain pace. Your legs just begin to gallop and you begin to get in this runner's move, this runner's kind kind of a, a performance stance, right? And you just keep on trucking along. And this happens in so many areas of life. But I want to bring your attention to something called the compound effect. And it's very similar to compound interest. It's more so the principle. The compound effect can be used in every single area of our life. This is what the compound effect says. And by the way, there's an incredible book called The Compound Effect, where a lot of these principles are coming from. So make sure uh, there should be a link in the description where you can go ahead and check out that book. The Compound Effect principle states that small consistent actions or change can lead to significant or even exponential results. Repeating small consistent actions over a long period of time, you see compound interest needs two things, time and money, okay? Compound effect needs two things as well. Needs time and effort, okay? So we're gonna swap the monetary value of money for the systematic principle of effort. You putting in effort into whatever you do. I wanna tell you a story. Back about two years ago, as I started out in the financial services industry, I did not have a large following on social media whatsoever. I had maybe 3,000 followers on Facebook, maybe 1,000 followers on Instagram, maybe a couple hundred followers on TikTok. And I set out and I decided that I was going to, no matter what it takes, I was going to consistently put in the effort to grow my social media presence because I knew that I wanted to benefit from organic reach and I wanted to benefit from a large following to almost be, I don't call myself an influencer at all, but I wanted to be influential over the people that were viewing my content. And so my content was predominantly all financial advice and stuff about insurance and stuff about retirement planning. But I also mixed in stuff about life and stuff about business and stuff about family, things that I'm passionate about. I'm passionate about my family. I'm passionate about business. I'm passionate about coaching and teaching and mentoring. And so I said one day, I said, no matter what it takes, I'm going to consistently give effort to this every single day until I see the results. Now, mind you, the first week, I didn't get much traction. The first month, I didn't see much traction. The fourth month, the fifth month, the sixth month, things started picking up a little bit. The eighth month, I, I wasn't blown up yet. I didn't have 100,000 followers. The ninth month, the 10th month, guys, 12 months in, one of my videos went viral, exponentially went viral. And I got, uh, I posted something on Facebook, Reels at that time. Reels was very popular. It was just coming on, on the scene of social media. And I posted a, a, a video, just a video about whatever, financial advice or something about the stock market and boom, 100,000 views, 
200,000 views, 500,000 views, a million views, 10 million views, 25 million views, 35 million views, 45 million views. This one video went absolutely bananas. And then the several consecutive videos over the course of a few weeks also hit and went viral, 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 viral. Now, mind you, I didn't get virality in the very, very first week or two weeks or two months or six months of me doing this, but I did not stop consistently adding value to the marketplace, adding value to the people around me, adding value to all these different social media platforms. TikTok went from 1,000 followers to 600,000 followers over the course of 12 months. Facebook went from 3,000 followers to 900,000 followers over the course of about four months, guys, because some videos, some bangers really popped off and it went absolutely bananas. And so uh, YouTube started taking off. I grew eight to 10,000 subscribers over the course of just a few weeks. Instagram started to pop off. I got 18,000 followers on Instagram or, or or something around that that number. The whole point I'm trying to make is, in the beginning, I decided to just hit the ground running and go one video at a time. And my goal was to post at least three to five videos per day. Now, this is not a social media uh, mentorship or social media, social media coaching video whatsoever, but I want to give you the principle that I used. It was compound effort, compound effort, because I knew that if I put in the effort And I multiplied that by enough time that I would see the results. And guys, I'm a product of compound effort. Now, you can use compound effort in anything you do. You can use it in your finances. You can use it in your intelligence. How many books are you reading on a monthly basis? How many pages are you reading daily? I have my kids right now. My kids may may not realize this, and they may see this video years later. But I am... I'm implementing the, 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 the systematic strategy and the principle of compound effort and compound effect inside their lives. They don't know this. Every single morning, we get up, 8 o'clock, and we do a devotional, and we're reading the Word, or even sometimes just listening to the Word, okay? Because on the Bible app, you can actually listen to it, so we're following along as we listen to the narrator. And, and they're getting this, and sometimes they don't want to wake up, sometimes they don't want to do it, but I know that if I am compounding this enough, if, if we put in enough effort over a long period of time, that eventually that's going to that's gonna root inside of them, that those roots are going to grow and blossom into gigantic oak trees one day. We're compounding this, this Bible teaching, this, this practical application of reading and listening to the Word over a long enough period of time that they're gonna be, that's going to become a habit in their life. They're going to take that on to adulthood. We do the same thing with success teachings and success books. Every day, I have them reading at least 10 pages of a some type of success book. Like they that. don't realize that this is in motion right now. But over a period of time in the next few years, they're going to realize, hey, what dad was doing was planting those seeds in our life and it was consistently being done over a long period of time. Now we're at where we are in life because of the, you know, the principles that dad was teaching us. So the compound effect, the compound effect principle states that small consistent actions over a long period of time will change and lead to, to significant or even exponential results. You can use this in your spiritual life as well. What are you doing in your spiritual life? Are you spending time in the Word? Are you spending time in worship? Are you spending time before God? Are you spending time with the good, good Father? God wants to do something in your life exponential. See, we're coming out of the season of addition. Addition is slow. Addition is small. Addition is like having a regular savings account inside of a bank. It's just it's just addition, right? You get interest but it's not compounding interest. It's simple interest. It goes from year to year to year, but it's not compounding on top of each other. But if you have an account like a life insurance policy or a 401k or an IRA, that's compounding interest. The interest compounds on top of the interest from the prior year and the interest from the prior year, and it begins to take on a life of his own. See, God wants to do something exponentially in your life. He doesn't want to do addition anymore. That's simple math. He wants to do exponential multiplication. We're coming into the season of multiplication. You're no longer in a season of addition, but you're in a season of multiplication. Believe that God wants to do this in your life and and use this principle. You see, with God's super and our natural and explosive force is created, but we got to put in the work. The Bible says, faith without works is dead. We know that scripture. We've We've heard that scripture since we were little. 
Faith without works is dead. Faith without action. Faith without consistent action day after day after day after day. Nothing happens if there's no action there, guys. Nothing happens if there's no action there. Pursue consistent small actions because it will change your life over time. Consistent compounding. Consistent compounding. By implementing and maintaining small changes of consistency. See, guys, I believe I heard a scripture about this recently, actually a, a, a sermon on YouTube. That the devil is after your consistency. Think about that for a second. Somebody's mind is going to be blown. Write this, write this down if you can. The devil or the enemy or whatever you want to call him, the enemy is after your consistency. He's after my consistency. He's after my consistency waking up early, studying, and doing YouTube videos. Because for so many years, I put it off. I knew God had given me a gift and I knew God wanted me to get a message out to people, but I... I chose sleep over my destiny. I chose being distracted over my calling. And, and I believe this is a calling. I believe that, that YouTube is a tool and an avenue where the word is gonna, be, is gonna be received by people all across the globe. Now, I'm small channel right now. I'm 20,000 20, people, but my goal and my desired result is to have 20 million subscribers on YouTube so that the word of God, our testimony, will set people free. Business advice will set people free. Financial advice will set people free. Social media marketing advice will set people free in other parts of the country and other parts of the world. But it's going to take consistency. It's going to take consistency on my part. And for many, many years, I put off the consistency. I was consistent in other, other areas, but not this. And so my goal is to be consistent at what God has called me to do. And I believe this is a ministry. So what has God called you to do? What has God called you to do that you want to be? You have the desire. The Bible says the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. What are you willing to do? What do you want to see happen that you know you need to take consistent action? Faith without consistent action is worthless. What do you need to do that you need to take consistent action? I want you to write that down today, and I want you to decide that you are going to go for it that you are going to go for it no matter what distractions you have around you, that you are going to take consistent action to move forward slowly because you know that God wants to exponentially multiply you and multiply your results. Your harvest is there. Whatever you're doing in your life, how do you want to apply this? Do you want to apply this? Jim Quick says, increasing something even 1% per day over a 365-day period increases your productivity by 37%. It increases your effectiveness by 37%. 1% per day over 365 days of the year will increase your productivity and your effectiveness by 37%. What do you want to be better at? Do you want to be better? I, I call it the, th the three eyes. Do you want to be better with your income? Do you want to be better with your influence? Do you want to be better with your intelligence? Pick one of those three and dive deeper into it. Write notes, figure that out, put it on paper, put a plan down on paper. Galatians 6, 7 says this, do not be deceived, God is not mocked. Whatever a man sows, whatever a man puts forth, whatever a man consistently acts on, that will he also reap. That's a powerful scripture. I don't, I don't think maybe a lot of us have ever seen it that way before when it comes to compound effect or compound effort. Whatever a man sows, you're sowing. When you think of a farmer, you, the farmer just doesn't plant one seed and expect a huge harvest the, the, the following season. The farmer plants hundreds, if not thousands of seeds, one after the other, one after the other. He tills the field. Tilling the field takes a lot of work. I've never tilled a field, but I've seen examples of fields being tilled. Tilling a field takes a lot of effort. Till the field and sow the seed. God's saying to you in your life today, till the field and sow the seed. <laughs> till the field and sow the seed. He's speaking to me right now. God is saying to you, till the field and sow the seed. What seed are you going to sow? And how long are you willing to wait? Compound effect or compound effort takes two things. It takes effort and it takes time. Effort multiplied by time equals your results. What are you willing to sow and how 
long are you willing to sow it in order to get that future result? It may take weeks. It may take months. For my social media to explode, it took almost 12 months, but I was consistent over time. For my finances to explode, it took me learning about the business and being a professional and being an expert in this industry over a two-year period for my income to triple. What is it that you want to succeed at? Now, I'll leave you with this. Go back to that scripture, Galatians 6, 7. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. I think that's an important reference right there. Don't be deceived. God is not mocked. He knows what you're up to. Whatever a man sows, that also will he reap. If you sow sin, you're also going to reap sin. It goes back to what Jordan Peterson says. If you're failing, you're likely going to fail at a faster rate. But if you're succeeding, you're going to succeed at a faster rate. This works both ways, guys. This works for the positive. This works for the negative. Whatever you're sowing, whether it's good or bad, will compound over time. So I want to leave you with that right there. I want to leave you with that. What are you sowing? What is the field that you are tilling right now? Is it something that's going to produce fruit or is it something that's going to produce weeds? If you found value in this video, guys, make sure you go ahead and leave a comment. I want to hear your thoughts. I want to hear what the Lord spoke to you about. I want to hear some practical application that you're going to implement. Let me know. Drop down in the comment section compound effect to let me know you watch this video. Hit that little thumbs up button before you leave this video. Share this video with your social media network. Go ahead and share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, share it on uh, whatever platform that you spend the most time on. And most importantly, click that subscribe button. I appreciate you. I value you. I hope you live well, laugh loud, and learn to be a better you. We'll see you in the next video. God bless.